News 13 investigative reporter Larry Barker exposed problems at a privately run New Mexico prison where a chronic staffing shortage in part led to a notorious serial killer starting a cell block riot. Now the state says it's getting ready to take over that facility. News 13's Chris McKee explains. Yeah, Jessica, we're talking about the Northeast Detention Facility outside of Clayton, and it is about to go under state control. While both sides say this is a mutual deal, the facility has had some serious safety concerns leading up to this. What happened that evening was unacceptable. In 2017, it was home to one of New Mexico's most significant inmate uprisings that almost no one knew about for months. That's convicted serial killer Clifton Bloomfield escaping from his cell inside the Northeast Detention Facility near Clayton. An inexperienced guard let Bloomfield out, which led to a cell block riot. On that night, was that a safe facility? That night, with these violations that occurred, no. Uh, there was major security breaches, so it wasn't safe. News 13 investigative reporter Larry Barker exposed the riot and ongoing problems at the privately run facility. So what went wrong that night? Well, at the top of the list, prison understaffing. Larry's reporting detailed how prison operator, the GEO Group, has struggled for years to hire enough staff to run the Clayton facility. Now the private firm says it's giving up control to the state. The Clayton facility is uh, very challenging when it comes to staffing. GEO Group spokesman James Hallinan admits it's been tough to hire workers, but they also blame the state for not raising the amount of money it pays GEO Group per inmate housed. Money GEO Group says would have gone towards employee salaries. The most important thing is making sure we maintain a safe prison that continues to employ New Mexicans and the best way to do that at this point is to transition that over to uh, the state. The state says it will keep the Clayton prison fully operational and they think they'll have better luck hiring staff because they'll be able to pay more. The state and GEO group will work together through the end of September to get the facility into state control. The state says it's also planning to hire the prison's current staff to continue running the facility. Jessica. All right. Thank you, Chris. GEO group still operates two other New Mexico prisons, including the Lee County facility near Hobbs and the Guadalupe County facility south of Santa Rosa.